Hey, have you ever looked at one of those posts on Facebook or on Instagram where somebody makes a sweeping change to their nutrition? They make a sweeping change and have wild success. You know the ones. They transitioned to a ketogenic diet or they went to a whole food plant-based diet, a vegan diet, and lost 30 pounds, normalized blood sugar, wild success. And you found yourself wondering, why doesn't that work for me. Maybe I just need more willpower to be able to get this done. Why isn't this approach working for me? Well, hey, we're going to talk today about the idea of sweeping change versus small nudges or upgrades. Hey, I'm Dr. Topher Fox. I'm an endocrinologist in Superior, Colorado, and you know, I've been in practice now for almost two decades, and I am obsessed with helping people live at their best through healthy lifestyle, to be able to prevent disease and disability through good nutrition and movement and sleep. And throughout my career, and in particular over the last few years, as I've taken a deep dive into nutrition, human nutrition, and taken a deep dive into human behavior, trying to understand how we actually make decisions and get results, I've learned a few things and I want to share some of the highlights with you now. So number one is there is more than one right way to solve just about every problem. And number two, when it comes to living at our best through healthy lifestyle, it really boils down to two ingredients. You have to know the right thing to do and then you actually have to do that. You have to know the right thing to do and then you actually have to do that. So let's come back to this idea of sweeping change versus small nudges or upgrades. So there are people, there are people for whom making a sweeping change, kind of wiping aside the old way and starting something brand new, there are people who get wild success with this. And if that's you, then kudos, by all means, continue doing that. But I'll tell you that in my experience, this is probably only about 10 or 20% of people. For the remainder of us, there's a lot of friction and a lot of things that happen in our culture, in our world, and that happen in our own brains, our own psychology that push against us and keep this approach from being successful. And so for those of you who fall into that category, I wanna talk about the idea of nudges or upgrade. You know, you may have heard this example that if you make a 1% improvement every day, 1% every day for a full year, at the end of a year, you are 360, excuse me, 365, that's how many days are in a year. At the end of a year, you're 3,700% better off, 37X better off with a 1% change every day. And so this means that making small changes consistently a small change, a small positive change every day, small changes consistently can add up to huge results. So if you haven't been a person who's been getting grand success with sweeping changes, maybe you find that it works for two weeks or three weeks or four weeks and then you end up sliding back to where you were. If you fall into that category, one, you're not alone, you're in the majority of people, and two, you may find that looking at the idea of nudges or upgrades, this is basically to say, hey, what do I have the bandwidth right now to focus on? And how can I make a small improvement today? How can I make a small improvement tomorrow? When it comes to nutrition, it may simply be saying, hey, what can I do to get more of the good stuff in? More vegetables or fruits or quality protein, right? If I just add one vegetable serving per day, that is a nudge or an upgrade that will pay off over time. Or it may be that you wanna work on pushing some of the less healthy stuff out, you know, things that have refined grains or added sugar, sugar sweetened beverages in particular, or highly processed foods, those things that have more, in five, more than five ingredients or look like they were made in a factory, you wanna push those out. This idea of nudge or upgrade can give you huge results over time. So you try one, and when you find that that's becoming a little easier or a little more automatic, add another one. Look for what you can do next. Nudges or upgrades can offer huge success over time. So hey, give that a try, and if you like this training, uh, stick around. There'll be more to come.
we'll be breaking down nutrition, movement, sleep, and those factors that keep us from following through on our good intentions and how you can fight back. Hey, Dr. Topher Fox signing out. Wish you peace. Take care.